All right, it's letter time. Your first letter for today is the letter C. And this is capital C. It's a big letter, and that's lowercase c, and it's a, it's a small letter. And I want you to notice that they look exactly alike. The only thing that's different about them is their size. He's a tall letter. He's a small letter. And they're both curvy characters. So I want to tell you what the sound for C is. And the sound for C is k. And it sounds kind of like you're getting ready to k, cough a little bit, that k sound. And we have a letter friend that I want to introduce you to that's going to tell you all about that k sound for letter C. Camera. Carlos has a new camera. When he takes pictures, his camera makes a clicking sound like this. In the garden, Carlos takes pictures of caterpillars crawling on kale. At the zoo, Carlos takes pictures of a camel, a duck, and a kangaroo. In the park, Carlos takes pictures of his cousin flying a kite. In his room, Carlos takes pictures of his cute kitten, Cozy. Can you help Carlos take pictures with his camera? All right, there's that sound for C, that k sound. And I'm going to read what you just heard, but this time I want you to practice that k sound with me. Ready? Carlos has a new camera. When he takes pictures, his camera makes a clicking sound like this. Ready? Five times. All right. In the garden, Carlos takes pictures of caterpillars crawling on kale. Ready? Good C sounds. At the zoo, Carlos takes pictures of a camel, a duck, and a kangaroo. In the park, Carlos takes pictures of his cousin flying a kite. Ready? In his room, Carlos takes pictures of his cute kitten. All right, this next time, when it's ready, when it's time to make the sound, I want you to pretend like you're clicking that camera like Carlos does. Ready? Can you help Carlos take pictures with this camera? Ready? All right, you got it. You've made the C sound. You've heard the C story. And I have another C story that I wanted you to take a look at. And remember how we talked about a question and how your voice sounds different when you're asking a question? All of the sentences in this C story are questions. See if you can hear what my voice sounds like when I'm asking a question. Can a cold canary sing? Can a carrot wear a ring? Can a cow moo when it's mad? Can a cat frown when it's sad? Can a castle's candle glow? Can you tell me yes or no? You see how your voice sounds a little bit different when you're asking a question, like it is for letter, all of these sentences for letter C. Well, it's time to practice writing the letter C. I'll grab my pen right here. Let's make some blue letter C's. All right. Now, when you go to make your letter C, capital C is going to start near the top line. All right. Just a tiny, tiny bit below it so that you can curve up to it. All right. 
And then you're going to curve all the way around, bump the bottom and curve just a little bit going back up. All right. You hopefully you have your pencil and your paper ready and you're ready to make another C. Ready? Here we go. Curve around to the bottom and stop. And for some reason it changed to a red C. I don't know why. Let's. <laughs> All right, well, it must want to make red C's. Now, just like what I said before, the lowercase c is exactly the same shape, only it's smaller. It doesn't start at the top line. It actually starts on that dotted or dashed middle line. All right, or just a little bit below it. And you curve around all the way to the bottom to make little or lowercase c. Let's try another one. Ready? We're going to start near the line, curve around, and there you have lowercase c. All right, today you will be submitting on Dojo your capital C and your lowercase c, and also you'll be submitting the next letter that we're going to talk about here in just a second.